I'm going to try to verify the username and password to make sure that we are actually working with someone who is a logged in user. Uh, we're not working with any kind of uh, person who is trying to send us data. The other way we could do is we could verify by saying the content that we want to receive on our endpoint is the one that should be coming from the right URL. So we can set a proper URL and know that once the headers come in, we can confirm that this is coming from the right URL. So today let's verify the user and the password. So I have some code that I'm going to paste here and I'm going to allow you to just understand what it's all about. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me comment out the first line and then we shall understand what this is. So WordPress has a function which is called a get user by and it allows you to use the login as a parameter and you can pass in the username. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass the username that we get from our API ping. And what I'm going to do at the end of the day is I am going to pass back this data and see what we get from our ping. So I'll pass this in as data. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to get that, sorry, the name that we have here and it's what I'm going to pass in as a parameter here. So let's find out if the user that we have is actually true or what data we get back. So I'm going to save this like we previously did. So I'm going to come back to our postman, look in our body and find out Lawrence as a name, if whether that is a, an actual user that's registered. So if I ping this, you're going to see that it returns a false. So this get user by helps us to find out whether the user is authentic or not. So if it is false, then we can throw a message and say, you know what, you are not the authenticated user. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to say if the user that we have, so I'll just, sorry, get, I'll copy this, add it here, and then I'll just use uh, the data and say, if it is true, then we shall actually run the code below. So if the user data that we get back, if the result here is true, then we are going to run this piece of content. So I'll cut this and put it inset here. I'll tab this to make it uh, more readable. But if it is not, then we're going to add else. We're going to say that the user does not exist. So we'll pass back the same thing, data status okay is what we'll pass in, but we're going to pass back a message and say the user does not exist. The current user does not exist. So I'll save this go back to our postman and then we're going to ping with the same data and click send. So we see the message current status is okay but the current user does not exist and that is a very major blow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my WP admin and I'm going to create a new user who we shall use to authenticate our kind of content. So let me go in and create a new user. So I'm going to create a new user and I'll give them a username of uh, YouTube. I'll give them YouTube email, which does not exist. So don't try to send any email in there because we'll have YouTube as the user demo uh, website is that. What we're going to do is we'll assign them the power of an editor or a contributor. Let's say we give them the powers of an editor and we need to set a password and let's get the one that is in our, I'll just confirm that. It's me 2020, that's the casing. We confirm, don't send email and Okay, so now that we've created our user, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the ping here and I'm going to change 
that to YouTube. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to send this data. Let's see what comes back. And voila, we are able to pass through and we are able to see that there is more data that's passed on to our uh, our, if you look at the data here we had said we're going to assign the user data that comes from here, we need to see what we get back. So when we look inside our ping, you'll see that we have more data coming in here, we have data, we have an array of data, and inside this data we have an ID, we have a login username, we have a password, we have a nice name, we have the email, we have all this kind of content already here for us. So we're going to use the same data to verify whether our password is also true. So how do we do that? But you realize that the password we set and what we have here are completely different. They're not the same. We have it's me as a password here, but we have this kind of thing recorded inside our database. And this is because this data has been hashed. So that brings us to use the inbuilt WordPress function of wp-check password. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add another variable and say let's get the result of checking the password. Okay, so let me just pass this in to make it a better variable name and say if we check for the password now we are going to pass in our password that we have here and then we're going to check for the user data and find the pass and then we're also going to pass in the user data ID. That is the data that we have here, the ID is 3, so we'll be confirming that that is the exact user that we are working with. 1, that's their proper ID, 2, that's their password, and we're checking to see if it's the one that is hashed. So if this is true, then we shall verify that as the correct user. So if they are true, then we shall run our data and say that's the authenticated user. Else, if it's not true, so we're going to add another else statement here and say we shall just copy this here and pass it in and say the user is not authenticated. You are not authenticated to login. And that's the message we'll pass on, but otherwise if everything goes well then we should have uh, everything working out. So I'm going to save this I'm going to come back here to our postman and then I'm going to ping. So when I send this data, you'll see that we get back our data received, so everything is okay. We have all this information and we have a message, you have reached this, uh, the server. However, if I change our password by just even one letter and say let me add a Q here and ping this, you're going to get back a message and say the status is okay but you are not authenticated to login. So we can have the right people with the right access to be able to send data to our post API. So this is the one way we can actually do all of this. So with just a little bit of code, just having this WP check password and also get user by, we're able to authenticate without writing so many lines of code to make our API endpoint much better. We're using native WordPress functions and making our application much much more secure for us. So thank you for watching the video, if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up, if you didn't like it let me in the comment what you didn't like about it or give me a question, send me a question. What would you want to know more about the post API or anything else? So don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and enjoy your day!